Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate text and pictures in Camtasia 9. Alright, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now, and I'll show you how to animate text and then pictures it's pretty much the same for both so with text first you want to add your text on the screen and how you do that is you head over to annotations and you can choose any of these like with the shapes and um you can click all here and see all of them right there's so many different kinds or you can just click abstract or you can just go to basic and you can you can also animate like the shapes as well so whatever I'm showing you applies to text pictures and shapes alright so let's use this text right here actually let's use this I want to use this so drag it down to the timeline and we'll move the cursor here let's make this bigger so that we can play around with it we're just stretching it shaping it to our liking okay so let's say we like this and let's change the text this is a test okay um, so let's animate this so there are a couple ways that you can do this you can do this through behaviors or you can do this through the animations tab here so first I'm going to show you behaviors and Camtasia created this uh, these are new for Camtasia 9 and they're already like done up but you can change them once you put them on the actual text so I'll just show you what I mean so let's say we want jump and fall so you can play around with whatever ones you like and basically you just take it and you grab it and you put it on top of the text that you want for that specific behavior so that behavior has been added now let's just play it and see what it looks like so you see how it jumps in there and then and then it it went away so when you have a behavior on there, you can actually head over to the right hand side and you can play around with it. There's so much more features on the Camtasia 9. So right now it's doing the bounce movement, right? And you can play with this and say you don't want it to bounce too much or you really want it to bounce, then you can put a higher percentage. But they had it at 40, which was like, I guess their medium bounce. So that is what you can control when you're in the in tab. Now when you go over to during, it's going to ask you, okay, do you want the the jumping in between to be really crazy or do you want it to be really small? Um, do you want to loop it again so every second it's going to loop or do you want to do you want to have a delay? It's all really up to you. And you can do this, you can play around with the settings uh, for each one of these behaviors each one is different so there's drifting fade pop-up pulsating reveal I've played with a couple of them and they're pretty cool they they add a pretty cool twist to your videos now you can also do this with the pictures so I'll head over to the media bin here and this was a picture of me and Arit with some social media pillows and let's say we want to add a behavior on there so let's say we want um pop up so we'll just hold down and we'll drag and we'll add that onto the picture so it says behavior added and let's play and see what it looks like all right so that was cool it just like swung open there like a like a door handle so that was cool that could be a pretty neat feature and again when you head over to the right you can play around with it even more so if you want it to loop the rotation is it you want it to be even crazier um, these are more of the finer details so I'm just gonna remove the behaviors so that I can show you the other way okay so I just removed everything 
So another way is by going to animations. And again, they have these pre done up animations for you that you can use. So let's say we use tilt left. So let's drag that on there. And then you see this little triangle thingy? You can choose when you want it to happen for that text. So let's say we want it there like in the middle. Let's see what it does. So I'm going to click play. So for nothing, and then it slides to the left as you saw there. So this is where it starts. So you need to place it where you want it to start. If you want it to start at the beginning, then you need to move this triangle thingy all the way to the end. And if you want it to go the entire duration, you need to stretch it out. So I'm going to hold down this. Uh, it's like a yellow triangle and then it's got like a red circular. So I'm just going to stretch that out and, it, and it, the triangle actually turns into an arrow. So when you stretch it out, it's going to elongate that process. So I'll show you. I'm going to press play. So now it's going really slowly because I stretched it out, right? If I want it to go really fast, I just squish it back in and then it's going to move really quickly. I'll show you here. So it went much faster than before. And if you want it even faster, you just squish it even more. And we'll play it again. And it went even faster. So you just play around with that, with where you want it to start and how, how fast you want it to go. All right, so let's try scale down. So we'll click on that. And then we'll play it. So it just scales it down a bit. So that's pretty much how you use the scale down one. So let's say you don't like any of these and you want it to be like customized. You want it to move specifically how you want it to move. So let's just start this over here and let's do custom. So I'm going to drag this down here. And then once you do that, you move it to the next location that you want your text or your picture to go. So let's say I want it over here. Then you need to move the cursor and then add another custom and then move it again. And then do the same thing again. So add another custom in this area and then I want it to move and then move the cursor, add another custom, and then get it to move. And then let's just do it one more time. And then get it to move. And then let's see what this looks like. So as you can see, it's moving to all the places that I had set it. And you need to use the custom the custom animation uh, to do this if you don't like any of the previous ones. So that's really cool if you want to create your own custom movements. And pretty much all that I've just been saying, I've just been doing it on the text and the shapes here, but you can do the exact same thing for your pictures and your videos. All right guys, so that is how you animate your text and pictures in Camtasia 9. And when you add this to your videos, it really definitely bumps it up a notch and makes it more of a cooler production. So I would suggest trying this out in your videos. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any more questions on what to do on Camtasia 9, please feel free to ask me in the comments section below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.